Okay, Morali, what do your God bumps feel like? <laughs> mm. If I were to get into it, sense it, it's just like, like a, a an explosion of energy moving up my spine and then flowing over my head and cascading down. So I would describe it in that way. Um, cool. In terms of energies and feeling wise. And the whole idea of God bumps and the bliss of being is uh, been something of my interest mm -hmm. since I was very young. Um, I think the earliest I can kind of recall of this intense feeling of just connectedness, or immersion of an oceanic oneness was when I was young. Young, young boy, six, seven, eight, and just having this connection with, um, at least at the time, more so with Jesus. I grew up a Catholic, mm -hmm. and so I always wanted to feel God and know him and his disciples, his devotees, his friends, family, uh, as intimately as possible, whatever mm -hmm. that meant. And then... To that degree, I had, I've had this question when I was young. It's like, what's the highest service to humanity? Mm -hmm. And that question leads me to following my God. <laughs> All right. And so early on, I said, like I said, I, I made very good friends with... Well, I'm getting guy bumps right now. <laughs> made friends with uh, Jesus in my heart. And that felt really good. I, yeah. And it was most intense when I was able to go in prayer and inside the church. Uh -huh. And just be like, okay, I'm here. I'm receptive. Please, you know, guide me. What's what? What do I do? It's the highest service. And, <laughs> and so I had this idea of like, oh, I'm gonna be save people's lives. <laughs> so a firefighter. I wanted to become a firefighter. <laughs> 15, 16, 17, and then I and then I discovered going out of high school, 18, 19, the value of learning, and that people and I, myself included, are suffering on the material plane but more so on the psychological plane. And so I learned, I learned the value of learning around 18, 19, went into college and discovered that I could, I, I could learn whatever I needed to, just find the information, the knowledge, and absorb it. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, uh, yeah. what do these guide bumps feel like emotionally? Yeah, emotionally. A warmth of presence of something beyond something very close to me yet at the same time very far sometimes so kind of and emotionally an overwhelming good sense of just joy yeah just joy and connectedness uh bliss ananda uh and then more so emotionally what's uh, ananda Ananda is the bliss principle in Vedic culture, okay. Vedic, Vedic philosophy. Mm -hmm. We're actually constituted of a unit of this bliss, Ananda. And so when we remove our misconceptions, then we reveal what is there. And that is, we are made of God bumps. <laughs> That's what's <enough>, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And cool. And so that's studying a little bit further, my 20s, early 20s to mid 20s, I discovered that a spiritual platform, spiritual knowledge is even more important as a service. And that led me to different uh, yoga ashrams around the world, mm -hmm. following my, my bliss in that sense, my mm -hmm. God bumps. Uh, but always with and in centered around uh, service uh, mentality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so when you uh, feel some guide bumps, um, how long do they last? Like a few seconds, or minutes, hours, <clears throat> days, what? The intensity, uh, if I can recall once in my teens when I had this really just, I was meditating deeply for days, just like wanting to know, and then I was struck with a dream where I saw basically what looked like a galaxy exploding in front of me. Mm. And that event propelled me forward into spiritual quest, spiritual necessity of knowing. 
What about these days? Uh, what, how, uh, how often do they come and how long do they last? Hmm. When I'm in, a, in my yoga ashram and community, it's an everyday, and like every meal we eat together, every time we get together, kirtan, we spend an hour in the morning, hour in the evening, mm -hmm. and it's, yeah, that's just God bumps all the way through. And, uh, and so, yeah, I'm getting them again. I, I, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and there it's just like flow, and I, yeah. I could be all day. Did you ever notice that they're catching, like I'm probably catching them from you and other people can, can catch them from other people, like oh. they happen at the same time? Did you yes. notice that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and, but these days, a little less so because of uh, so much work and, and dealing. So I would say in the morning in my meditations, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then residually... I don't know, a little while before mm -hmm. I get into like worry consciousness, yeah. <laughs> perhaps. Okay. So how long do they last? Like a few minutes or an uh, hour or two? or An hour or two, yeah, okay. I guess, before I, I would wow. feel like I need to like... Long time. Uh, yeah, well, the, the when I study and, and get into my meditations and study the, mm -hmm. my scriptures and the yoga philosophy, uh, all I have to do is just like connect to my, my teachers, my guru, and, yeah. and you know, and then so, I feel connected. So you think that maybe is the number one way where you can invoke them by connecting with your, with your teachers? Certainly. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a big connection for yeah. sure. Even uh, like a uh, spiritual connection, right? They don't have to be right with you, right? No. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. Just imagining yeah, their presence or their connection. And conversing cool. internally, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever use uh, guide bumps for uh, decision making? Um, yeah. Guidance. Um, I've been trained in hypnotherapy, and so self hypnosis is uh, one way of how I can connect with my inner knowing, my inner guiding intelligence, uh, mm -hmm. and get visceral yes no answers. Mm -hmm. And so when I have like a critical junction in my life where it's important question, mm -hmm. I literally lay down, calm myself down, get into a nice absorbed state of consciousness, and then literally ask myself the question, and uh, one finger signal will be a yes, and another one will be a no, mm -hmm. and it'll be that clear. Mm -hmm. And then I, I only have to then uh, deal with my ego in terms of <laughs> how to go about it. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, the answers are pretty clear. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I learned that technique. In my early twenties, and that was that was uh, quite yeah, quite potent, quite yeah. potent uh, so, technique. <laughs> can we go back to the physical sensation of the guide bumps themselves? What what does it actually feel like physically? It uh, it can literally uh, include goosebumps when it mm -hmm. gets kind of intense. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, it's it's just a rush of like like a reverse waterfall. Mm -hmm. It just goes up, uh, and then there's there's just a knowing, a mm -hmm. peace, and do you ever, energy. Do you ever like hear anything, inner hearing, or see vi visually inside, seeing anything like that at the same time? Um, I can visualize uh, strings of energy mm -hmm. moving upwards. Mm -hmm. I don't hear anything. Okay. But I, I do. I do sense and feel and see, kind of like streamers of energy yeah. moving up. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. I would say. Cool. Uh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. And some breathwork experiences that I've had, I've actually seen my light body. And it's just like a, it's just a big, cool, circulating, oh, connective <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it feels like that in uh, her revelations. Uh -huh. uh, and sometimes it like shivers, little shivers, mm -hmm. and uh, a tinkle. Tingle, yeah. A tingle and a sensation in the spine mm -hmm. moving up. What? What kind of sensation in the spine? Some warmth, mm -hmm. electricity, kind of mm -hmm. tingling. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you, Morali. It's a really big help, and uh, I highly appreciate you sharing your guidebooks with us. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>